2013 Jeep Wrangler is the best car for you if you don't want a car. Wrangler is for buyers who want a vehicle that can go virtually anywhere and the image that goes with it. Wrangler's design follows its function. It rides high to clear rocks, it's got an upright windshield and a short hood for great off-road visibility, and its truck-type chassis is tough as nails. Of course, none of these features help it on-road where Wranglers spend most of their lives. So what? Wrangler sales are at an all-time high. Jeep can't meet demand, and used Wranglers bring top dollar. Part of the reason is this four-door unlimited model. It was introduced for 2007 and now accounts for 60% of Wrangler sales. But the real reason is that this rugged SUV has never been more like a car. This is Chuck Giametta with an Iguida video review of the 2013 Jeep Wrangler. Join us for a look at its performance, features, pricing, and competition. Wrangler got a personality-changing engine for 2012, and it returns for 2013 more civilized and with a new off-road model. There's additional sound deadening, and the convertible top is easier to raise and lower. The seats are recontoured for more comfort, and the Unlimited's rear seat sections now fold down in one motion. All models gain an automatic dimming rear-view mirror and more interior lighting, including LED map lights and illuminated cup holders. Rock crawlers will love the Moab edition. It's new for 2013 and outfitted for Utah's off-road desert playground. Wrangler returns in regular length two-door form and as the two-foot longer unlimited with its two extra doors and additional 30 cubic feet of cargo room. Both body styles come in base sport, Moab, upscale Sahara, and all-conquering Rubicon trim. A folding convertible soft top is standard. The optional hard top is available in black or matching body color depending on model. Some versions also offer matching color fender flares. Every Wrangler has removable doors and a fold down windshield. For 2013, the Sahara's 18 inch alloy wheels and the Rubicon's 17s get a new spoke design. The Moab joins the Rubicon 10th Anniversary Edition with Rubicon wheels in bad boy black, a power dome hood, and special trim inside and out. Bottom line, nothing else on sale today looks like a Wrangler. This is a rolling celebration of square-jawed Americana. That character is evident in Wrangler's boxy interior. Yes, there's a roll cage above your head and bare metal here and there, but modern amenities like available leather upholstery, heated front seats, power windows, and a navigation system make you hesitate to hose it out after a day in the mud. The new seats do provide better support, but the rear bench is still bolt upright and a bit confining, even in the Unlimited. The tall step-in reminds you of Wrangler's purpose, but this is a surprisingly quiet cabin, all things considered. That sense of unexpected refinement is apparent in Wrangler's ride quality. Even the short wheelbase model is no buckboard. Unlimiteds aren't as maneuverable in tight spaces, something to consider on off-road trails, but Wranglers handle well enough if you take into account their squirmy tires and steering calibrated to reduce shock from boulders and sinkholes. Acceleration was transformed from glacial to good last year when Jeep dumped a 202 horsepower six-cylinder and installed parent company Chrysler's 285 horsepower Pentastar V6. We love a Wrangler with a 6-speed manual transmission, but the 5-speed automatic, an $1,125 option, performs well. All configurations rate the same 18 miles per gallon city highway combined, so good fuel economy is not part of the Wrangler experience. Off-roading, of course, ought to be, and Jeep deserves undying respect for equipping every Wrangler with enough hardcore hardware to tackle the Rubicon Trail itself. Of course, four-wheel drive is standard, and it's not the kind designed to be left engaged on dry pavement. It's the kind on intimate terms with low-range gearing, long-travel solid axles, and radical approach angles. Wrangler Rubicons feel invincible with even heavier-duty axles, electric front and rear locking differentials, a disconnecting front sway bar, and 32-inch tires. Sure, you can hit the seat heaters and tickle the buttons on the tilt steering wheel to turn up the Mozart Bluetoothing from your iPhone, but where it counts, Wrangler is the real deal. 
That authenticity combines with all those amenities to let Jeep charge some pretty steep prices for the 2013 Wrangler. Barebones sport models start at just over $23,000 with manual transmission. That's an honest value even if you have to pay extra to get air conditioning. Base prices for regular length Wranglers top out at $32.7 for an automatic transmission Rubicon. Unlimited start around $26.7 and reach $32.6 in Rubicon trim. $37,000 Saharas are the routine. Low to four-door Rubicon with leather, dual tops, navigation, heated seats, remote engine start, and other goodies, and you're looking at a sticker of $43,155. Nothing we can say is going to discourage someone who wants a Wrangler from buying a Wrangler. Our best advice is that whichever model you choose, take it someplace where you can enjoy its off-road ability for more than just the image it conveys. For more on the 2013 Wrangler and other cars, trucks, and SUVs, go to iguida.com.